Today we're going to be going over all the Air Jordan releases set to drop in December and I'm excited because there are a lot of them. Almost 15 different drops. So let's go ahead and get started with the first shoe. The Air Jordan 12 Low Eastside Golf. Now you remember seeing these in the last video we talked about that, the golf right. collection. Remember right. they had like the browns right. and stuff like that. So for this one in particular, it's kind of a part of that series, but right. this is a Jordan 12 Low. But this is way doper though. These are clean. Look at the materials, the navy, the leather. Yeah. It's really, really nice. Yeah. So it's got the golf man swinging on the tongue yeah. and it's got the golf spikes at the bottom so this is strictly for golfing only if you buy these you'll get a hole in one damn <laughs> hey you'll get a hole in one of these this uh, is right here to business retail <laughs> retail on golf spikes 225 dollars what do you think about the price i think it's a good price think it's a good price we could play around the golf for 225 dollars we could. paid for 350 this, around this is true this is true so that's just around the golf yeah I you can still that. wear the shoes over again yeah that's a good price. But you still take an L to me though. That'd be the thing. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> definitely so, not. So at the end of the day, this shoe is definitely a cop. It's a cop if you're a golfer. And if you're a beginner, don't buy these yet because you don't want to look this good and then, and then blow it. <laughs> <laughs> Start with the beginner Jordan right, golfer. Right. Like work your way up. Yeah. <laughs> okay, next shoe right here, we have the Black Taxi. Uh, maybe the blackout. I don't know. Everybody's trying to probably have different names for this one right mm -hmm. here. But this is another Air Jordan 12 high top oh, that's model. Clean. I can't tell if it is. Uh, it looks like that. You know how like the leather. It looks like a leather on there, isn't it? Yeah. Like you know how yeah. it's kind of like uh, yeah. finished. It's like more soft, kind of more buttery on yeah, there. I and do. Then you got that mud guard right there with the classic Jordan 12 print. That's a cop to me. So this one right here, all black, murdered out on the bottom. You got the gold hits, yellow hits, whatever you want to mm -hmm. call it. They call it taxi, so probably more of a yellow tone like compared a yellow to the tone, gold. Yeah. Uh, overall, I think this is a great shoe, a great no, addition for a collection. It has to be a rocker. Yeah, great. Not rocker. only that, those shoes are already durable. Like, I'm just saying, there's a durable shoe. Definitely. And then in the color in the black, you can wear that. It's like, yeah, and they're comfortable. You know what yeah, I'm saying? They're comfortable. Like, that's, you look forward to rocking those. That's like, clean. You can wear those with anything. Definitely. So yeah. overall, this shoe, I don't know if there's a win. Let me check the soles on there. But basically, yeah, it's just all black throughout the upper with some yeah. yellow hits on the eyelids. And then you got the 23 Steelers. and stitched right there. Great Steelers <laughs> shoe. <laughs> Those Steelers. Shout out to the Steelers. Hey, if you're a Steelers fan, drop a comment. Hey, you, you know, it's rough season, but we still Steelers right. fans out here. Hey, we won tonight. We're still rocking. Okay, what we got right here? The Air Jordan 4. So I talked about this one in the past, and this is what happens with sneakers too. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they're like, oh, it's coming out, and then it gets pushed back. Right. And they're like, oh, it's coming out, and then it gets pushed back. So things Several like this times. happen, right? Right. So I think we actually went over this one too. Remember oh, we, we did. And we like this. Because it was like a kid's shoe or yeah, something. Yeah, it's too. like a kid's version of yeah, yeah, the yeah. adult one, but not yeah. technically that collaboration. Yeah, yeah, I remember this shoe. So I'm sure you guys have seen his impressions of this shoe in the past. It's still a good cop shoe, though. Yeah. Like, like I said, if you're going to ball out with your kids, that's it. That's a good little shoe, you know what I'm saying? And right. it's cleaner on the front end. Like, you got the white rubber, but mostly on the toe area, you got that yeah. darker blue color. So, you don't have to worry about it getting dirty as much with getting a kid a lighter colored shoe. I think definitely. Is that it, price? Is that the right price? Oh, no, that's not the right price. Oh, I'm like, that's what is this? <laughs> <laughs> Retail is 150 bucks on these. Ooh, you got to have a good kid with some good grades if they want this. <laughs> So or your like, girl, like if your chick yeah. wants something like that, yeah. she can wear it. It's it's funny because these are called the messy rooms. Ah, uh, <laughs> you cannot have a messy room if you got these shoes. <laughs> so they gotta make sure their room is clean before they get the shoes. For sure, and good grades. I don't. Did y'all make me clean my room like that? I feel like y'all did. No, nah, your time. mom did that most of the time. She did. Nah, she she they'd be on my head sometimes. No, nah, like, you didn't have you didn't have a problem. You kept your room pretty organized. Clean. Like, yeah, you kept growing, growing up clean. as a kid though. You was good. I think, yeah, I didn't really We didn't really have to sweat him about that. Cleaning my room wasn't really an issue yeah. back in the day. That's a more girl vibe right there. Okay, so this one is the, what is the name of this? Soulfly Air Jordan 13. So this is supposed to be like taking a story behind like Michael Jordan's boat and the color that it was. And they use that in the collaboration to tell the story. It's just like all this random stuff. I'm like, at least that's what I think it was. I didn't do all the research. Don't get me wrong. I might not be right, but you can't do enough research on this shoe. I'm just like, what? And then it's got like the the piece of material on no, the toe. No. And like typically that's just a whole cap, right? This is for a girl only. Dudes don't put this it on. It looks your feet. like it looks like it does look like a women's release. Yeah, I can't lie. That, it does that, look like a women's I release. I wouldn't put that on my feet as a man. Even though it is a UNC like color blocking. 
Maybe it's, it's just it's the color not right. on the shoe. I don't know. Something <sighs> no. or the materials, the way they do it. Because I know they do do that with the women's releases as well. They always add like extra patches in different areas yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. They're kind of trying to, I don't know. So overall, it's not a cop for you. Nah. Uh, uh, okay, what's the retail on this shoe? I don't even know what these way are. Way too for. much. Doesn't even say. Yeah, it's probably some collab. <laughs> I think this is going to be like one of those collabs. So they did one not that long ago. And it was like $1,000. And then it came out. Huh? Look, this is how it's been going. They're doing these collabs. DJ Khaled collab. The five. Sitting. I heard they sitting. They're sitting. <laughs> this is what's happening. He Even, a hey, on some real stuff, excuse me to interrupt Go you. Ahead. On some real stuff, the shoe itself, nice materials. Fire. The ones you had, Fire. nice materials, everything. Was inside, outside, cool. But unfortunately right now, them mugs are sitting. People talking about they can get those left and right. Yep. It's funny because I just ordered two more pairs. <laughs> As you were walking in, I just ordered two more pair. But I think that shoe gonna go up later though. Later, it takes a little bit of time, but yeah. I don't know how much it's gonna hit. We shall see. But so this one in particular is funny because we're seeing the brand is built off of collaborations, right? right. Well, right. not built off of collaborations, but there's been a heavy trend of collaborations in the past couple of years. Yeah. Off White, Travis Scott, different stores, Soulfly, I'm Omnia. And, and that way they can get more you know money out the shoe, to build yeah. a high, right, right. everything else. So it's interesting because we're starting to see that kind of buzz kind of go away a little bit so like i was saying the low top one came out to yeah. me it's cool like it's not a bad shoe at all but at the same time it's like they're not really that dope you know what i'm saying so for y'all to be reselling for a thousand dollars and then now they're literally hitting for just over retail i think this is gonna be a situation where like they barely go over retail and then they're gonna be like probably either sitting or right there or under retail or something in a like factory that. store i, I think the know. problem is they're getting to rely on collabs. Yep. And when you rely on something like that, assuming someone else's name is gonna do it, yeah. and you didn't put the value into the actual shoe and you're only worried about the name, you're not gonna get the bang for the buck. But don't get me wrong, you know, I'm still open to collabs, Jordan Brand. You know, <laughs> DNA. Now his shoe will be dope because he'll get to design fire, some stuff. Too. Some fire stuff for but sure. I'm saying that the collab on, on certain shoes I've been seeing stuff, I'm like, it's really not that dope. You right. just put his name on it and thinking that was gonna sell it. Right. And and you're and losing I mean, money. And again, it's to each his own, right? Everybody likes what they like. Again, buy what you buy like. Buy what you That's like. That's the most important thing. Like, if we don't like it and you like it, great. There's no, we don't have beef with you because we don't like the shoe. Like, it's okay. Like, you can like yeah. what you like. We can like what we like. Right. But yeah, right. it's just yeah, it's very interesting how the times are going with collaboration. But they, they, but they getting to see it. It's not just us. They getting to see it when the shoe sit. Right. It's a proof. Right. It's, it's not just us. Right. It's, if it's sitting. We shall, we shall see. We'll find out, right? <laughs> so next up is the holiday sneaker, the Air Jordan 11 of the year. They've so, been advertising this shoe on everything. Right, and I already know we need to find a size 14. So anybody out there, we need to put it. If this shoe come out in a 14. <laughs> it will come out in a 14. <laughs> I need one. So no. what do you think about these right here? It's clean. I think, now here's me. I think they should have did the other gum sole bottom. The red bottom? The no, the uh, the kind of bluish one, where it's a little bit more. Oh, like, like a, a bluer tint to it. Yeah, the okay. one that's a little. Like you know, like the icier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. That one more. I don't know what y'all. I feel call like it. it'll look like that though when you get it in. Per I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I've seen a couple. Cause of you know they got two here. versions of that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And they got like one that's way more icy. And yeah. Icy, yeah. And, and on this picture, it just looked like basic. But of course, I still want the shoe. It's a comfortable shoe. I love the shoe. They, they cannot mess this shoe up too much for me. So you got basically like a vast majority of all the 11s that come out. Almost every color every of this Christmas, shoe. you get the shoe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So don't be surprised. Almost every color. <laughs> but yeah, this shoe, the one thing I had, so this came out in the low top version first. Yeah. And then that, we saw that like 20 years ago or something like that. Right, right. And then we got the retro of the low top. And then we got a football cleat of the high top version. You got that. Yep. And then... After that, we finally got the high top version of this. Right. The retro, the low top version has a white sock liner at the top compared to the red. But if so, they would have did a red bottom on there. If they would have did a red bottom, or what if they would have took the sock liner and made it white like the low tops? Do you think it would have made it look even more clean? Or do you think it's good with the red on the I'd top? I like the red at the, the top. I like the red at the top. But if they would have did a red at the bottom. The red bottom? 
It didn't took that, it to another that level. That might have been crazy. That might have been crazy. That took it to another level with that white there. Yeah. Oh my god. Either way, it's basically like a Concord it's 11, a, but a red yeah. version. You could literally do this shoe just like this in any color. Red, green, blue, yellow, you name yeah, it. Yeah. You could do it in any color with the same exact color block in, and I think it would be okay. Like be good. the Oregon Ducks 11s, they got them like this with the green patent leather. They're clean. So clean. The world hasn't really seen them yeah, like that. Yeah, I was going to say, you see that. I, I got some pictures in my phone. I'll show you. I'll show yeah, you. Yeah, right. <laughs> you probably got a pair. <laughs> I got to check this stock. Anyways, <laughs> on to the Jordan number nine. <laughs> the Fire Red Nines. You going to show me later. We talked about these. <laughs> We you talked know, about these in the past too. Those is clean, yeah. So this came out. This was a shoe that you were like, it's a cop for it's me. I said it's cop. no cop for me. Uh, oh, definitely. Still feel the same way. They pushed this back last month. I think so. This was Something last like month. That. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's still a cop. I like the red, you know, uh, eyelids, whatever you call them, rings for the shoelaces. Mm -hmm. And I like it with the red hints. I like it. It's a you're great just wearing shoe. your the uh, navy, navy and patent leather black or the navy and white ones. I was wearing uh, my Michigan's. And you're just wearing your Michigan nines today. Yeah, you got a hey, couple. Y'all know I got those. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we'll talk about that later. All right. So here is a classic, something that I've been waiting for for a while. I got both of the retros from uh, back right. when I was younger, and then retro again. Like what was that? Seven, eight years ago. I don't know. It was a while ago. And then now you got another retro. Right. I'm assuming this is gonna be close to that OG style and cut back to back in the day. Mm -hmm. The Cardinal Air Jordan Sevens. A lot of people are anticipating and excited about this shoe. Just like the Citrus Sevens, they kind of just sat and people slept on them. Right. I think this will fall in that same category. But then it goes category. up over a little time. Man. Yeah, definitely, definitely. But I think I think this will kind of fall in that same category. Everybody who gets it is going to be extremely happy that they got the shoe, and they're not going to have to worry about paying a lot, a lot of money for the shoe because that's why I was happy. Cool. I got mine. So you know I got saying? mine, and I was able to wear them and get them. <laughs> <laughs> so I think that's one dope thing about the other numbers that's not trending in the time because right now it's ones, threes, fours, elevens, right? And then yeah. you think of like all the other numbers, sevens, eights, nines, fives, different stuff like that. Like those are still dope shoes, dope models. And when you see classic nostalgic colorway, especially with this being the year of the seven for the anniversary. Well, what I say about this shoe for me in a size 14, <laughs> in the white color, in this shoe don't look that big. Yeah. Like yeah. I can wear this shoe and I don't look like I'm wearing a 17. Right. right. Like it still look like decent. Cause some shoes, you know, it, the cut, everything, especially when they cut it off right through with the black in the Definitely. front. Definitely. Then it, it makes it look like- The, you the can, bottom, the midsole and the outsole. Yeah, it don't look so a big bit. like a boat. Yeah, I feel you. And you wear it and you're like, damn, that's big. <laughs> right. You know? Yeah, no, for sure. There's some shoes that we just don't buy because like, or in a white version right. of it because it just makes the shoe look And this so is one huge. shoe you can buy and like you can the, wear. the Jordan 18s and the white and blue. Oh, those that was right there. Huge. I got those too. <laughs> and they look huge. They look big. Or the, yeah. the white and UNC, seven, the white and UNC 50. <sighs> Teens, those Just, things look cute yeah. but yeah yeah definitely i know what yeah, you mean on that yeah so next one right here is going to be slated as potentially sneaker of the year or top five shoes and all the other stuff and don't get me wrong it's a great shoe great collaboration all the different things i like the shoe will it end up in my top five Top Maybe five? we'll see i don't know we'll see how it goes the only reason why is just because it's just you can wear it with anything. You can literally, it's an OG one low. It's a Travis Scott. It's got the reverse swoosh. It's a black and white. Just, it just goes well, with everything. Well, this got pushed back too, huh? I, I think this got pushed back. Cause I think have. we talked about this shoe. But anyway, long story short, it's a good looking shoe. I think what's gonna happen is this shoe's gonna skyrocket and you ain't gonna be able to afford one. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think. Yeah, off rip, you know, 12, 1500 bucks. It's just gonna there. be like, I can't get it. Retail is probably gonna be like 160, 170. Oh. And then it's gonna be like, and it's gonna go up 10 the times the amount immediately. Yep. yep. So, overall, very, very nice shoe. We got the Travis. Clean. Scott it's one. a clean shoe. You know what I'm and saying? You, like you said, you can wear it with anything. And hold on, excuse me to interrupt you. I really like how they did the, the wings on the back. Uh huh. Right? That's clean. I think, you know? yeah, I think it's just really. With the, with the whole thing, the whole vibe. I don't care you know they somebody... try to put too much into the shoe and right. change all the right, stuff. Right, right, right. They didn't change like a this lot. This is similar to the Jordan 12, right? Yeah. It doesn't have a yeah. collaboration, 
but it's like murdered out. Like it's yeah. just, you know, like we just said, you could rock it yeah. with everything. Like it's a great situation yeah. for that. Now this has like the suede materials and stuff on the upper. So then you're gonna have to be worried about water and different things like that compared to the other one with like a leather and different materials. But the link so, in the bio, he knows some spray that you yeah, can yeah, put Yeah, I in got there. all the stuff that I teach you how to protect They can protect the shoe. <laughs> I don't know the words, but I'll tell you that he can protect the shoe. He know the stuff. So, you can get those shoes and rock them. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely gonna be a good rocker. Yeah. This is gonna be something I for sure will be adding to my collection. That's if I can, shoe. if I can find it at a good price in your size, and a fourteen, we'll be working on that. But <laughs> I can't make no promises for all these expensive shoes, man. <laughs> they not in no twelve hundred though. <laughs> That's the be wow. Okay. So they made this version, uh, I wanna say it was in a black and white version. Mm -hmm. And then now they did the black and gray version. So it's essentially the same shoe, the Twist 2.0. It's got like the pony hair on there with the upper and different stuff. This is a women's drop. I think this is a women's drop only. Like the last one before. I don't remember, it doesn't have anything on here. Let us know down below in the comment section, but I'm pretty sure this is a women's drop. But that look clean as a dude's fine. too. The dudes could wear that. Yeah, it's just it's wear that. black, gray, or black and white. Like I could wear one. that. That's Definitely clean. a clean shoe. I like that uh, pony hair too. Switch up with the materials. They did a Jordan 4 like that. It was all black, like the black half 4s, but it had yeah. the pony hair on the upper with the Nike Air on the back. And I thought they were so clean. It was only a women's drop, and they made them not in extended sizes. That's so we couldn't size. get it. And I'm like, bruh, they were literally sitting and in for like a year. They're sitting maybe even two years next thing you know they're like triple the price oh and I'm my like, Bro, god i've been telling people like this is a crazy clean shoe it's weird how people slip just sleep on shoes and you go it's a good shoe right but again That's That's a lot of people up. are about hype right and they're not about true quality right what you really like right everything they just about hype right and so they just be buying the randoms instead of like good stuff sometimes and it just sit. Yeah, I, I think this know. shoe would be dope. And I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if I seen somebody get this shoe and customize it and just paint the gray areas black and dye the sock liner black. Oh my God. And just have God. it murdered out with the white. And you oh have, you have white on the midsole, white on the air. Oh, that would be logo. clean. Those would be clean. Ooh, I don't know. Hey, I'm just Jordan saying. Brand. Nike, y'all heard up. this. Sign me up. Sign me up. <laughs> that would be clean. That would definitely be a Watch clean Watch it come shoot. out in two years. Y'all heard this first. That would be surprising. If it come out in two years, this is actually I'm... a funny one right here. Oh my God. So this is the UNC uh, Air Jordan 13. Mm -hmm. So just UNC blue, and then you got the black on the upper. These look very similar to the Chris Paul PE. Right. Um, right. That I had back in the day, and then they came out with a GR version of that shoe, which the quality was nowhere near the same but that's a whole nother topic. Either way, this is a clean shoe. It's a cop for you sure. You got the black pods on the bottom, so you can't get it dirty. The only thing you gotta worry about is the blue. And when you're driving, control. you can't even get it dirty right yeah. there. So like, <clears throat> this is a great shoe. Um, I look forward to adding these to my collection. I have the black and purple version. I have the right. other different variations. Oh, yeah. Like, this is a great shoe overall. What would you rate these out of 10 though? I mean, cause there's a lot of great 13s out there if you think about it. I would get out a strong nine. Strong nine. Okay. It's a, it's a good looking shoe. Retails 200 bucks on those UNC. I think 13s. it's worth it. And it's UNC. Like and you can't so go wrong with UNC colors. Jordan 13s have a trend of coming out, maybe hitting a little bit over retail, even if it's a pretty dope colorway. And then you give it like a year and a half, two years, sometimes. But don't two they and usually half, drop years. a little bit? They, yeah. And they'll do that. They'll like drop. They'll drop. And then you give it a little about two years. Next mm. thing you know, 350. <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> And people are like, oh, everybody was sleeping on those. Yeah. I'm like, that's why you should have got them. If you like the shoe, yeah. just get the shoe. Because yeah. then if later you like contemplating, next thing you know, you're paying 350. Right, right. But or you coming up and you're trading it and then using that as leverage to another and shoe. And that's that what you, you want to do. But I mean, hey, that's you know. Buy what you like or buy an investment. All right, here we go. What <laughs> we got next? Air Jordan One. Oh, we went over this. Oh, we went over this shoe too. So these are back supposed to be coming out this month now i guess it's got the jewel on the side with right. the wings logo the silver i think it's a clean shoe but it's still just kind of like it's a pass for me like i don't yeah but I mean, it's cool for like if you're going to ducks games or something like yeah, that you're gonna yeah. get it you're gonna Definitely rock something, something like solid. that clean but it ain't nothing i'm gonna rush out to go i gotta have these right, right now definitely but it's a clean shoe i'll still wear it i'll still rock it so i think especially going to the games i think okay <laughs> so it says retail is 170 on this pair mm -hmm. but i thought they were raising the retail on all jordan ones to 180. so i'm not sure we'll see when the time comes because yeah. my thought it's like gas right Either i think that's what the one i was telling you to change that swoosh yeah yep because I like, was saying it looked it weird. It was like silver or something. If they, did, if they did black or green, yeah, like it would be clean. Yeah, but 
Oh no, we're not the colorway. It killed designers. the shoe. It killed the shoe in the middle. So this one, we're taking yeah. it back to OG days, right here. Yeah. Classic Chicago Air Jordan Two OG cut, bringing it back. This is people always sleep on the twos. Though. This right here, gotta have it. Materials A one, packaging A one, yeah. shoe, everything just it's drivable. Dry. It's clean. Yeah. They cut it off sort again yeah. there, so you can you can uh, wear it as a big shoe, especially with them black laces. Yeah. That's clean. I'm interested to see where the price settles on these like after they release. This mm -hmm. is this is supposed to be like, you know, so they do like the Christmas push and then after Christmas, everybody gets their money mm -hmm. for Christmas gifts. So then they got more releases and that fall following week. Right, yeah. <laughs> right. Well, no, that's a whole nother drop. Oh, yeah. That's all, cause tax returns come later. That's when they oh, do yeah, another yeah. series of drops, right? But everybody gets their Christmas money and Jordan brand knows it. So what do they do? They put another couple classic or some good bangers for the end of the year. Like right the uh, last day of the year, or like two days left of the year. Like they're like, oh, we got one more release for you. Two more releases for you. So you'll see stuff like this that'll come at the very end of the year. So when people are making their like top 10 pickups of the year and stuff like that, I always see people make the videos like, right at the middle of december but i always wait till like the end and like right, the first you always pick up some more the... yeah i'm like i'm buying shoes the last day of the year and sometimes it might be a banger speaking of that i got something i need to show you right here i'm gonna have you open this and this one for sure is not for you but <laughs> looks a little big videos coming videos coming uh very soon we'll be dropping this on the channel oh flip this over you gotta be careful it's gotta be gentle it's very precious. Oh, you got it! What? <laughs> 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 All right, look, 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 look. I'm not even about to show y'all. If you know, you know. <laughs> <laughs> video. That was like, you, you gonna show that? <laughs> no, wait, wait. <laughs> video coming soon. <laughs> no, I got him. <laughs> if you know the box, you know the box. Oh my oh god. Oh my god. <laughs> We got two more shoes to go over. <laughs> you, I was gonna, I was gonna show everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Okay, calm it down. Just got hot. <laughs> Is that gonna be the top ten pickups of the year? Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> it might make the top three. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be up there for sure. <laughs> okay, okay, so, we back. We back to <laughs> where was we at? <laughs> Uh, Tinker Hatfield's early designer sketches, 25 years in China. Okay, so this is kind of like a storytelling element. I haven't really done too much research on this shoe. This is like, apparently Tinker Hatfield, I'm assuming probably did a sketch of this colorway with the Jordan 12 mm -hmm. and an inspiration between a anniversary time or something between the Jordan 12 and 25 years. I'm guessing that's kind of where right. this falls along those lines. Cause we saw the playoff drop and that was like an anniversary thing from the debut earlier in the year, all that different stuff. So either way, this is kind of like a reverse version or like a taxi version. Cause the mm -hmm. taxi is the white with the black. And then you got the, you got the yellow or kind of goldish color here with the brown kind of. I'm, I'm trying to like, figure out why they didn't do that yeah, same that like color up here. or something? I don't know. They should have did that color. This bottom color is a sole on yeah. the tongue. Yeah, 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 I see that. Kind of, I don't know. So there's probably a better story and I haven't done any research behind it. I which wanna I, know the which story. Which I will, I'll figure right. it all out. Cause I'm actually like, this is my third time probably seeing a picture of these. I haven't really done right. it. I always like to look at this stuff now. I used That's to a like- a good looking shoe. I used to like looking at the stuff before and now it's kind of more fun like, seeing it and like showing the process of like right. first time seeing it and everything and like but you be doing this stuff way before I know, but <laughs> it's just fun like seeing the blogs and not hearing all the stories because sometimes i don't hear the stories about all the shoes that's coming out like i just right. get to see the designs and then i'll be like oh these are dope like i think people will react to it this way right. just based off of color and then like the shoe will come out you know 18 months later or six or whatever you know yeah. all the other stuff but either way you have all this stuff going on so what do you think about this shoe what would this you rate it it's a good looking shoe, but I give it a seven. Seven? I think they messed up by, on the tongue. I think the color blocking is gonna give me like a solid six and it'd be a pass. I wouldn't, yeah. I wouldn't buy it, I would think. <laughs> I wouldn't rush out to get it, but I think it's a cool looking shoe. If you can find it on sale, you would come. If you can get it for like a buck 50, yeah, you, you know what I mean? It'd be pretty like solid, that, yeah. something you can wear. But I'm not gonna pay 225. I feel that. I feel that. So this next one, <laughs> this one is dope. This is the last one right here. Oh yeah, that's this one clean. is the Gore-Tex Air Jordan Five. So it's like an all-black five. 
Right. But the Gore-Tex is like that waterproof material and mm -hmm. everything on there. Mm -hmm. So this is like perfect for the fall, winter time. Perfect to mow the lawn. Probably, <laughs> but the material <laughs> no. kind of, I don't know if I would do it, but either way, they say it's great for that type of stuff. This is yeah. like one of those durable, built to last type of sneakers that they got that's coming out. But I'm rocking the fives, I like it. I think it. the colorway is clean. It's a clean shoe. Some people are mad because it says Gore-Tex on the side of the foot. But that's part of the like deal. The branding of it, like all right. the material and so, all that but stuff. Yeah, you know what it is. I think but, they did good for doing that. Yeah, I think me on, personally on that end, I think it's actually fine just because it kind of identifies it and it does make it pop right. a little bit with the red on right. there, the right. contrast, and then you got the you know the shark teeth on the side. Is that glow in the dark bottom? It looks like it's just like a milky also, which is cool because then you don't have to really worry about yellowing or right. anything like that. It's just kind of like already got that creamy vibe. Because you remember to it. the other ones there, I had the reflectant on there. Yeah. So it's got the reflective tongue on there still. Mm -hmm. You got the red jump, man. It's kind of like a black metallic five mixed with a fire red kind of yeah. fusion type of thing. You got the jump man jump on the man. back compared to the Nike Air, yeah. which is completely But I like fine. the jump man on that. I think it's good. I don't think they should have the OG Nike Air stuff on like retros like Collabs this. and all yeah, those. Yeah, I, no. I think it kind of takes away from that classic nostalgia, yep. you know, vintage yep. look or whatever you want to go That was a smart move for them doing that. But yeah, I think overall it's a clean shoe. It's got the milky outsole on there. It's got the smoked tab right here looking good with the black. Yeah. I think I think this is a really solid shoe and this is definitely a shoe I would want to have in my It's collection. a cop and I wouldn't mind paying a little bit extra for it. I don't want to pay double the price for right. it. Right. Like, you know, 50 bucks, something like that. Little, yeah, I'll pay a little. Like, yeah. yeah. Little if you extra. can just get it right then, you pay a little over. Right. That's cool. Like, I think thanks for helping out. I could get yeah. a little bit of money or something. Give us like, 50 and here yeah, you go. You're right, right. So that's gonna do it for all the drops in December. We got a bunch of stuff. Obviously, we know there's a bunch of stuff coming out next year. We went over some of those things. We're gonna be doing updates each and every month per usual at the beginning of the month, showing you guys all the early drops and all the information. All the links will be down below in the description for all the information that you guys need to know. You got anything for the people before we go? If you know about that box that I just <laughs> see, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> All right, y'all. We'll see you in another video. Hey, make sure y'all subscribe to his channel. All right. <laughs> oh my God. I didn't know you were gonna show me that. Cause you know, I haven't seen those in person yet. Yo, before you go, I just launched my Sneakerhead Academy where we got everything on the inside. I teach you all the stuff that I learned over the past 15 years when it comes to sneakers, scaling, real estate, you name it. We talk about all of it in there. And there's an eight-week program plus a bunch of monthly giveaways. I give away shoes literally way too much, honestly. But either way, I'll see you guys on the inside. Hit the link down below in my description or pinned in the comment section for DJ Sneakerhead Academy. And I'll see you guys over there.